Hello everyone, welcome back to Closer Be Milkshake. I am your host, along with support puppet, Headbanger, Mr. Chicken, yes. Today we're gonna talk about um, when your narcissistic ex does the same things they did for you with other people or the new person. Um, I have a few um, examples uh, of me doing this and this being done to me um, by, you know, um, other toxic people. Um, a couple things. One is um, we will do these things to try to recreate the feeling that we had with an ex. This isn't always going to happen, but for me, when I would um, like draw uh, pictures, um, do art for my ex or um, poetry for my ex, after I broke up with him, I tried to recreate um, that connection, that feeling um, that I had for my ex in another person. And I would, um, I remember I wrote a poem and I felt fucking disgusting because um, I, I couldn't capture that feeling, that um, uh, uh, obsession, that love, um, idealization connection, something. Like the love bomb was so, it was not, even real uh, it wasn't real that's the thing is that um the connection with my ex was real during the love bomb stage and i was trying to recreate it with a disposable fucking person and um i felt fucking disgusting because i couldn't recreate it so from then on i was like i am ne never I am never fucking doing this again. I'm never going to, for the purpose of um, recreating um, this feeling. Now, I can go on a trip to some place that I went with, you know, my ex-husband that I was with for 25 years or, you know, um, anywhere with an ex-boyfriend or something to like, um, uh, or a restaurant and stuff and not have that connection, not feel anything. Um, you know, it's like, I'm not staying at the same hotel, but if I go to, you know, I like food, I'm gonna take you to the fucking restaurant that I like the food. I'm not trying to recreate shit. Now, if somebody is buying you the same type of gifts that they bought somebody else, that's trying to recreate the past with someone um it, two reasons why they would do that because they want to have that feeling connection like they did with their ex or they know that this shit just fucking works and to get you to look at them like oh yeah you love me type shit so a long time ago when um, my ex used to draw me and put me in his first graphic novel that I helped write, um, when we would fight, he would draw other girls as a punishment to me. But later on, after the makeup breakup and the final fucking discard and shit, um, when I started my channel, um, I didn't have an Instagram. And when I did go on Instagram, I did go creep on his shit. And I just wanted to look during the time zone, the time period of when we broke up to see if he was trying to hoover me. And he was, he was still drawing things, you know, about him and I, probably seeing if I would, you know, reach out, which I had, I did not give a shit. I had no feeling at all. I just wanted to check the timeline. And I did see that he was drawing other women. He was making portraits, like he used to make portraits for me. He was trying to bait these women 
into his life by making them feel special. And I did feel special back then. So whether or not he is trying to find that connection or he just knows that it works, I don't give a fuck. But these are the two things that could be happening with your um, narcissistic ex-partner. It's just you're not going to know which one, okay? And this is not to keep you attached or to make you feel special. Just um, please remember all the other bad shit that goes along with being um, with somebody who is not aware of their toxicity. All right. Remember, everything's your fault. <laughs> All right. So I hope that was helpful. Have a great day. Namaste.